Look at this. I just, I just went to get in the car, Bernie's like, you're on the wrong side. <laughs> G'day guys, welcome to Minnesota. It's another family holiday, but again, like I did last time, of course I'm gonna bring rods. But I packed a heap of travel stuff, I got a box of bass gear. We're on Benedict Lake, which is a little feeder offshoot lake of this huge lake called Leech Lake. We're up here, we're gonna do sightseeing, boat cruising, all sorts of fishing. I mainly wanna get largemouth, smallmouth bass, but you got musky, there's panfish, there's yellow perch, there's walleye, there's all sorts of stuff to do. That's cool. We're gonna see the sights, we're gonna catch some fish. We're gonna live it up for a while. Northern Minnesota, Benedict Lake. Let's do this. You wouldn't be dead for quits. Yes, another one! Check that. A crayfish. First ever bass in Minnesota, baby. We're so lucky to be here. We've been invited over by our dear friends, Bernie Arsenault and his lovely wife, Julie. It's fall here right now, but it's still crazy warm. This water's like beautiful. I've already met uh, Bernie's neighbors. They got some friends and neighbors that have already said, hey, like they're super friendly. Like this place is just like home. It may look a little different though. There's chipmunks and squirrels running around. The leaves are starting to turn. Falls here. The water should be cooling down. The fish should be going shallow. I can't wait to get in on the water. You guys are coming along for a ride. Let's go and see what Northern Minnesota has to offer. That's a big. How cool is this little channel that joins all the lakes? These lakes, look like Minnesota's got, they call it what, state of 10,000, it's like 17,800 lakes or something. It's just like water everywhere. We're gonna do some frogging. I was legit so crook. Bernie organized a charter yesterday. They went out. They didn't do that great, but they did get some uh, blow ups on frogs. One good largemouth. But I was too crook to go. Legit dead to the world. But here we are today, frogging. Oh, the anticipation. Oh, Bernie! See that? I caught it out of the corner of my eye. Didn't come back. I thought you bloody largemouth bass were like stupid. Eat everything. Only one. Oh, there he was! Oh, yeah. oh that was that was a pike. I caught I caught a glimpse of a long. Oh, that was a that was a pike. That guy. I caught. That was right in front of me. Double task here. Mm, you can double task, Bernie. You got this, mate. I'm a foot pedal guy. Give me a foot pedal. Remote's purely for spot locking. I'd blow down this fast. I, I, if I was fishing this, I'd just be on the Alecky, power fishing it. If it fished good, I'd go back and do it again. Right, so I'll let this. I'll let us go a little more. The next question is, Bernie, how long do we persevere with a frog before we try a jig? Well, you should try a jig. Yeah? Yeah. If we haven't I'll had... Switch. Yeah, all right. I'll keep frogging, because the frog is there, and tell you if there's something in there. Yeah. And I would definitely switch. Yeah, and then I could switch bait with a jig yeah. on him. All right, go on the jig. A little uh, motion, the one I use at home, 3 8 ounce. Only because I don't have, like, a hybrid for this grassy stuff. I've got footballs and stuff. Bernie picked out a cool colour for the local crayfish, but I changed it on him for a better <laughs> head. I need that style head to come through that grass. Oh, yeah. The others are footballs, so. Yeah, this is I catch Aussie bass on this at home. All right. Yeah, they'll happily eat that. Now, well, let's try the jig. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, you got one. Yep. I got a fish there, Bernie. On the jig. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's coming back. Yeah! Dude, all right, man, you did it! Yeah, That's bait a change. Nice bass. I'm the jig, baby! Beautiful! <laughs> yes! Nice job! Oh, we did it! 
<laughs> Good for you, dude. Ah, oh, we did it, man. Too. We did it. Look at that thing. Stay to jig. We've been frogging. I thought, ah, oh, we'll change it up, mix it up. I'll go the jig, follow on the frog. If anything comes up on the frog, we'll put a jig in behind and like three or four casts with the jig. First fish, large mouth bass. That's the one. Yeah, that little guy, mate. Eh? Oh, oh, that's what it was, huh? Yeah. Holy that's cow, it. he did like that. Yeah. I'm glad you changed the color. He scoffed it. That was down his throat. <laughs> ah, that's so cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, you wouldn't be dead for quits, Bernie. Uh -huh. You wouldn't be dead for quits. Yes, another one! No shit! Second car's back in, he jacked it. He jacked that straight away. <laughs> Oh, it's pike this time though. Oh, but that's, that's a cool pike that's though. A nice one, yeah. Watch it, you're gonna. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Second car straight back in there. You want me Northern to the pike? I'm gonna have to hold this thing up for sure though. Yeah, just watch out the yeah, because sharp. Yep. Uh, and what I, if you do this, it tends to stun him a little bit. Look at he gobbled that. Yeah, that's how you lose your, That's why I wanted to quick catch it because this will cut your yeah, line. Yeah, he'll bite that. In no time. He got me a little. All right, we'll get this guy back. But there's a northern pike. My first northern pike. And that's my blood, not his. Oh, was that a little pike? I, I thought I felt a hit before, and then I thought I saw a little pike coming and just nipped the tail. How good's fishing? What do you call that thing I call it? A little half pounder? The, the bass. Oh yeah. No, no, that was a that was a decent bass. That was a what a more than a half pound. Half pounder. Yeah, Shoot. I was picking apart these wider um, weed pillars out wide. There's a big stack and I just oh, threw man, straight man, at it. It's a good bass. Oh, that's a huge bass. He's a good bass, this Bernie. bigger than Matt. Wow. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> wow. Yes. Look at that. You mind if I... Go it? for it. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Oops. Am I... <sighs> I am, yeah. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit! Oh, sorry. Look at that. Nah, shit's alright. It's an Australian video. How cool oh, yeah. is that? What do you reckon? It's yours. Wait, how do you reckon? Big. Oh. Three pounder? Two and a half, three pounder? Oh, it's more than three. Nah. I think it is. You reckon? I do. That's a big fish. Beautiful. Three pounder. There's a proper largemouth on the jig. Just we've been picking this like wild rice apart, and there's bigger mats of cabbage something like stacks like I'd throw out back home in like maroon I started pitching a few of the biggest stacks and got a way better fish that's so cool on the jig <laughs> how cool is that that's a good largey like you know you come over with dreams of grandeur like I'll get a 10 pound of nah, anything like that that's I'm happy with that I'll catch those all day <laughs> oh yeah Oh, dude! I just looked in there and I was like, holy crap, that just looked good. And I just wasn't able to hook them on. No. Oh! Nah, no, it was the grass coming through. Oh, f I missed it. He had it in his mouth. I was doing the check for it, like, check, check, check. I'm like, he had it. Oh. Yep, yep, Pike. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll just get it. Oh, I was gonna say, I'll just rip him in too because I don't want to get my jig bit off, but he's off anyway. <laughs> Did ya? 
Ah, told you that, bait. Chatterbait in the fall, mate. Bladed jig. Hey, buddy! <laughs> oh, I better get a net for him. You don't want it to count. Oh, look at that. What do you got? Nice. Awesome. Bass? Yeah. yeah. I think it's a little bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I think it's a little bit. Did you catch that? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's oh, not. Where am I going? Oh, well, right. It's good. I got one the last time. I threw it right back in there and sure as heck, I got it again. I'll take it. It's a little one, but I'm getting there. <laughs> We're going by numbers, not by size, right? Did. Cool. I'll let this go. But I mean, I have all these. I don't have this color. And this is the right color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there it is. Damn, that, that cut just doesn't want to stop bleeding. All right, I've changed it up. I've gone to a uh, Norrie's Hula Chat, bladed jig, chatterbait, whatever you want to call them. I got the Zodius Travel Rod. This thing is a lighter one. What was it? 7 2, 8 to 12 pound. But that's my new Lose Elite TI. This is the first time I'm getting to give this thing a run. That is a sexy bit of kit. Yeah, so this reel's got their new Paramag, I think it's called, their brake system. You know how like Shimano oh, really? and yeah, you know how the Shimano do like um, DC, like yeah. digital car. Yeah. So theirs is like that because they add with the way they advertise it's like no electronics. Because it's all magnetic. Yeah. So this is the one where like KVD's in that video and he's doing the full heave ho, no look, like just sends it, like it just goes. Like it doesn't wanna. Oh my god. Yeah. Like I haven't touched that, I haven't set anything on that. I pulled that out of the box and it's gone. Really? Let's go. Oh, it is weird. Like, how do you, why do you, yeah, how do you pick the, the pattern? Like, what's the pattern? You got a fish. Do. You do. That rod's I kicking. Do. Yeah, it got. It took it down into the weed. You got right up in there. There it is. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Come on now, get that net. We got a jumper. Oh, I'm filming the I shot, know, Bernie. You're getting get, the action. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's a proper one. Oh man, just ate it up. Look at this. Oh, what a beautiful fish, huh? That crazy colors, man. So pretty. That is, that's that is just such that. a. All right, that's the end of our first session. Just a quick little short run. Uh, where'd we end up? We left Benedict Lake and we got out onto Main Lake Leach. Anyway, that's a bit. We'll add to this. We're going to catch more. We're going to do more. There's heaps to do. That's a cool start. Check this out. Like, you see the size of the lake we've just come off of. And then we go in through this little channel behind me. And then it'll pop out, open into another huge lake like that. It's just crazy. So much water. And we've got nothing like this. Somebody else had to catch the fish <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, pretty much the second session we're going to have out here on Benedict on the Leech. It's a night session. It's going to be minnows and chub and fatties and red tails and fish I don't even know about. But just like bouncing baits on jig heads on the bottom. It's a full walleye session. We're heading out. It's calm. It's crazy cool. Hopefully we get um another couple of species. Yeah, walleye, something different, but here we go. Bubble gum. Bubble gum? Yep. I got bubble gum. It's good on this guy. Ah damn rock bass. Rock? You're the rock bass king, Paul. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> They're moved into my god dang walleye spots. So what we're doing here is we're dropping a minnow, a bait fish, a live bait, 
shad, whatever you want to call them. Bait fish on a jig head, and they're just pitching at an edge. The walleye come up from deeper water in the evening, up to these shallower sort of edges. I'm just putting little live baits down in their face. But then the boys are all like sold on colors, like put on bubble gum, put on green this time of year. Like, it's crazy how into it they are. Here's Paul's on. Call on a Paul. Rock bass? Uh, it's either a northern or a walleye. No, it's a walleye. So you're in a rock yeah. bass? No, it's a walleye. It's a nice one. It's a tail. Yeah, boys. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Cute. Oh, and he's off. Yes. Did he just come off? Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's a beaut. Yeah, I saw the white tip on the tail. So he's holding on, it's a nice fish. Minnesota walleye. <laughs> he's a nice one. That's a keeper? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is there a slot he's limit a, up here? He's or is an 18 just... incher, I would say. Let's throw him on the teeth. Oh, he's bigger, he's 20. That's the first wall I've seen. Paul just got a nice wall. What do you got? 20 inches. 20 inches. So you allowed one over, what was it? One over 20. One over 20 per person for the whole Leech Lake system, all the, everything out here. So that's just, that's or is that Minnesota? Statewide. Statewide. Yep. Well, there you go. We've got one, two more to go. Look at that, that's a little red tail. It almost looks like a whiting. Red tails. Oh, all right. Ah, just got the camera on in time for a filthy rock bass. <laughs> Well, oh, spot's cooked, let's move. That was a nice one, nice walleye. Walleye? Yep. There it is. Going. There it Another is, baby! Another 20 plus. Bernie! Dang! He's been dying to show Look me. Look at this. Uh, this yeah. is what he's been dying <laughs> to show exactly me. That's exactly right, man. He's been dying to show let's me this fish. Here. I just gotta get... There we go. Look at that, baby! Woohoo! Oh, the eye. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. That's your favorite fish? Yeah, it is, baby. And we're going to eat it tomorrow. <laughs> fish fry? Fish fry, yeah. You're going to love it. Sick, mate. Well done. Oh, that's a beauty. That's awesome. Look at how beautiful that fish is. The white tail. Check that. Bernie just put the second walleye in the boat. He's been dying to show me these things. When I first met this bloke, like it was at Ayers Rock a year ago, we talked for an hour, if that, maybe a bit longer. And like we got the invite to come over. And he's like, we well, get yeah, big walleye. And then I'm, I'm like researching Leech Lake, Minnesota, this bass, like small mouth, large mouth. I'm like, I'm gonna go catch some bass. He's like, it's all about the walleye. He's been dying to show me that fish. <laughs> hey, Bernie. I'm glad, I'm glad I finally got it. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Boom. Yes. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're having a fish fry. It's walleye fried up. What do you got there? A rock bass. Rock bass, yep. We've been getting a lot of them, haven't we? On the red tail. Yeah. Is that a sucker? The red tail is a sucker? What type of sucker, you say? That's uh, actually one of the preferred baits of, during this time. Boom. Are you seeing this shit, people? Yeah, no, I'm out of here. Paul's got proper, like, lake trout trolling. Shit, I don't know, man. It's American shit. It's got the little counter and. I've never even seen this stuff before. Bring him in. Bring him in. Turn that ratchet off, boy. your backstop. Can we go find lead in that burn? Oh sure. Let's go let's find some lead. This you thing is the bull they fire the bullets into here so there'll be leftover like lead or monolithic oh. stuff. Yeah shotgun shell. There'll be something in here eh? There you go. Look at that big groove through torn through where it's hit a rock. You'd hate to have that thing coming at you like what is it like hundreds of miles per second? that man. Like 
So you're not going to get a lot of what I'm catching at the moment because we're just doing party pontoon boat and stuff and tunes cranking and just like living life but there's my first yellow perch, there's another one, multi-species, tick that one off. Yeah, oh, he had it. That was him. There's another one. No, he's swimming away from it. A little yellow perch. Let's call it a day, Bernie. Yep, you've, uh, you get an A for effort. Let's feed some hungry wives. <laughs> Chicken of the woods. Straight off the stump. That's off the stump, like. What, 20 minutes ago? <laughs> That's actually a pretty good job. Oh. Bernie. Love it, baby. Homegrown. <laughs> Homegrown. We worked hard for them. Mm. And look at how that, look at that amount of wasted That's meat. That's all your lateral line. Wow. All those bones right there. For my whole life, we've split that with the knife, follow it down the edge, right. follow it down you the edge. Yeah. You waste meat. Yeah. Have you ever seen one of these? Yeah, the wings, yep. Bow ties, we call them. We call them wings. Yeah, we barbecue All like bow ties, yep. Oh, yeah, a yep. little bow tie, it was tiny. Yeah. That's crazy cool. Yeah, and you can just feel it when you do it. It's like each time a little bone is letting go yeah, of the flesh. Yeah, it feels just like, like a zipper. Yep. Yeah. Here, right here, baby. Yeah. you change the way you hold? Yeah, it was the right way. Way. You have to try. You got to try the fish. Here we go. I'll probably grab me insulted if I just get back to chicken. <laughs> <laughs> we won't be. Well, yeah, it is pretty good. Trust. It's pretty good stuff. I'm gonna say. There is nothing wrong with that. Eh? Yes, darling. This guy. This guy. <laughs> Small mouth is the game plan for this morning. It's so cool. We're not getting up stupid early. We're having fun all day. There's so much to do. We're squeezing in fishing. Like my wife's having a blast. Like I couldn't ask for a better trip. But yeah, small mouth. Small jaw, brown bass. Try and tick that one off this morning. red squirrel up in the trees here. It's been so cool seeing squirrels and chipmunks and stuff and everyone else is like, yeah, it's just another squirrel. fish, a little Ned rig, a little TID crawl, just hopping around rock, shallow rocks, falls, what everything I've watched leading up to this point sort of says so. All right, there's a little Ned head, Ned rig, TID crawl, still in that little light spin travel setup. Let's go. That's the zone. Get up there.
This reel is not. Look at that, I just, oh, I've got to film that. This reel, this, this new, the new Lose Elite TI. Like, it is insane to cast. All right, watch this. I'll, no thumb, ready? I full send it into these rocks. Watch this cast. Full cast, no thumb. And look at that, like it overrun one loop and that's fully just letting it land on its own. Crazy. All right, no love, no love, make a move. Soft plastic, swim bait they call it over here. Little lack zone swammer. Let's go, no, we're not defeated, Bernie. No. We're no, choosing no. to go catch a big largemouth bass. Yeah, for small. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Oh! Yup. Yup. Go, go, go. Oh, Pike. <laughs> oh, he's off. He's off. Dude, that one guy was lit up. He come charging out. I could see him. The first two hits I couldn't see him. The third time he come racing out looking for that Senko. Yeah. The first one that come out after the Senko, it come charging out. I was like, I couldn't. And I saw him eat it because I could see it. I probably didn't wait long enough. Because oh, I was like, yeah. holy f he just ate it. <laughs> yeah, this is why I'm a foot pedal guy. Because then I could just be here with a foot pedal. Just... I actually have a foot pedal. Well, if you want me to make your life easier, throw it on the deck. It'll, that, you, that, that way that remote will be out of your hands. You feel good with doing that? 100% do I feel good doing that. I'm going to anchor them. Yep. Alright, we're going to push to a foot pedal. Yeah, they're there. They're fired up, man. Those two I've had to come out, they were like racing around looking for where it went once I ripped it away from. You familiar with that one? Right, riding the bike, mate. <sighs> uh, speed, we want about five. Give us that. So does that, can you go left and right with that? Yep. I didn't know Bernie had a foot pedal. Some people don't have them. I, like, I'm like, why? Why do you not have both? You see all this stuff just jump right ahead of you there? No. Yeah, somewhere. Right there, yeah. Like 
Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, baby. Yes. Watched him charge out and just eat that. Gave it a few seconds. Set the hook. There's a bass. Wow. Yeah. 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 We worked for that one. Oh, sick. There you go, man. Oh, finally. You saw it hit? Saw him come charging oh, out of that stuff. Right where you said bait got scouted. Three yeah, meters ahead right. of you, threw it right. straight in there. Just watched him charge out. Beautiful. That's epic. How good's that? Finally got one. Finally got one. Just on that little pros factory. I had hits on a little Grassmaster jig I bought yesterday at Reeds and I don't know. I pulled the hooks out of a couple of fish with that and went, I'm going to a confidence bait. Back on the motion, on the board. Oh, there's something cruising up and in. Pike. Pike? Long? No, bass, 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 bass. He's right there. Nah, he was on, he was already spooked. All right, this is it. Last drift, last run, last session in the boat, in the lund. One more bass, I'll be stoked. No burn, just get a big old bass. See, that looks better. Like you can throw into that gap and it's dark in the back. You're like, something can charge out of there, anywhere. You can still fish your chatterbait like a jig too, almost burning. Like you could drop it in, plonk it, and shake yep. in the zone for a bit before you go into a straight burn with that, eh? Look, oh, tea bag. Here we go. One to finish off, Bernie. Oh, oh yeah, Bernie. All right. Oh no, he's off. Oh, we're in the bloody dying minutes, Bernie. Ah oh, well. We got one. All right, don't know if that's the last of our fishing, because who knows? Actually, I'm probably gonna throw a little bait heading through that channel. So I'm probably still gonna cast anyway. All right, so we're about to head through the little channel that joins the lakes. Um, I did a bit of this the other day, but we we're on the pontoon boat party and so that music and stuff playing. So I don't know how much I got that's not usable, but I'm just going to Micro, ultra tiny finesse, little eco gear, power shad, S, like the tiny little thing I've had in packets for years. I'm like a one six, maybe like a one twentieth size four hook. Just chasing little panfish, little uh, yellow perch, pumpkin seed, bluegill. Yeah, probably get a pike or something, but we'll throw this little tiny bait through this channel real quick and we'll see what we get. Oh, there he is. Yes, got him. Oh, my rod dead. A little bass. Oh, it's a perch. It's a little bass. It's a little bass. Same bass you got the other night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. There you go. There's micro fishing, USA style. A little largemouth. Did I show you the bait? That's the tiny little bait. Like it's tiny. This is Benedict Lake, the home lake. I know what you're trying to do. What? You're trying to get me to replicate your 27 incher. There you go, that's where I got it. Yep. <laughs> oh my lord, left handed? That's not left handed, man. I'm going to fish it just so I can have it in the video that okay, I fished with yours. Start catching it, catch it. Yeah. Go into that edge now. Not yet, my love. Oh, he's on one. No, I missed it because I'm left. Wow. And it's mono, so I hit that peak of like, oh, yep. And I sort of looked at Becky and I'm like, I just couldn't. <laughs> Here we 
we go, off to New York. See what we can catch there. Look at all the little white tails jumping up into the bush there. <laughs>